Hi, my name is Joey Papa. I'm a coffee consultant, and today we're gonna learn how to make Frappuccino blended drinks at home. Now basically, Frappuccinos are an invention of Starbucks, and they're a blended coffee drink very much like a smoothie. Now, these typically run for about four to five dollars at your local coffee shop, but you can make them at home for a fraction of the price. And you're gonna do it all today in your home blender. Now what we're gonna to need to do this is some milk, you're gonna need maple syrup, we're gonna need a coffee flavoring that you can find down your coffee aisle. And the, the coffee syrups range from uh, hazelnut to macadamia nut, pistachio, vanilla, caramel, chocolate, whatever you prefer to put in there. We're going to need instant coffee. I'm using packets today, but you could also use instant coffee right out of a jar. And we're gonna need a cup of ice. We're making a 16 ounce frappuccino today and if you want to double this recipe go ahead and do that or if you want to cut it in half feel free to do that as well. Uh, so what we're going to do first is we're going to take our milk and we're going to measure that to a cup. We're going to use a cup of milk and you can use whole milk, soy milk, almond milk, non-fat milk, whatever you prefer. We're going to add that to the blender. After we've added our milk to the blender then we're going to add a half a cup of maple syrup. And what the maple syrup does is it makes it, uh, the beverage have more of a smooth and consistent uh, flavor and mouthfeel. So you're gonna make sure you use that ingredient, not to substitute that with anything else. Then we're gonna take a half a cup of the uh, coffee flavoring or syrup of your choice and add that to the, the wet ingredients in the blender as well. After you have that, you're gonna add two packets of instant coffee on top of the wet ingredients in the blender. And then you're gonna pour in your cup of ice. Turn your blender on high or to the smoothie setting and watch your blender do the work. After about a minute of it blending, go ahead and remove the top and check the consistency to see if that's what you're looking for. Some people like their frappuccinos to be more thick and other people like them to be liquidy. Uh, if you want them to be thicker, then just add some more ice. And if you want them to be uh, less thick, then go ahead and add some more milk to your frappuccino. Go ahead and put the top back on your blender and you're gonna blend again on high until you get the consistency you're looking for. Once you have that consistency, you're then gonna pour out the frappuccino into your serving glass. You're gonna add whipped cream to the top of that, and then you're gonna serve up your homemade frappuccino. Again, my name is Joey Papa, I'm a coffee consultant, and today we learned how to make frappuccino blend drinks.